Randy, Mia, Jess. This is rock and roll. It ain't rock and sleep. Get up. There's no sleeping in rock and roll. Let's go. Big John wakes me up yelling, and I wanted to punch him in the balls. What fucking time is it? Uh, it's six o'clock. All these girls are here because they want to date a rock star, but they got to start stepping up and giving me their A-game. So far, I've connected with Jess. I really like Heather and Lacey. Other girls like Magdalena and Mia, I haven't seen a whole lot from them yet. I'm starting to wonder, are these girls ever going to let their guard down and let me see who they really are? Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Today's a day for each of you to step it up individually. I have a note from Brett, we'll see you in a bit. Thanks. Thank you. From New York to L.A., I've rocked and I've rolled, but a cross-country tour can sure take its toll. Today, one lucky lady will show her road skills, but the other five honeys will end up roadkill. So we're racing cars? Something about road skills. I'm thinking we might be riding motorcycles again. I'm, it, that's fucking awesome if we are. Let's go, ladies. How you doing? Where are we going? So today, there's another challenge to win a date with Brett, so bitches, watch out. I knew I was going to Good morning, hot Magnificent Seven. Happy birthday. Good morning, happy, yes, happy birthday. birthday. Thank you, thank you. Today is my birthday. Later on tonight, we are going to party. Right now, I got something very, very special planned for these girls. I am looking for a girl who can handle life on the road with me and all the insanity that comes with it. All right, all right so in each city, two of you compete head-to-head -head in a rock tour-related challenge. The girl that wins jumps back on the bus. The girl that loses, I got to leave you behind. The winner of this gets a killer date with me, and I mean killer. I'm really nervous about this competition, and I have to win this challenge because I need a solo date with Brett. I wish you all the best. I'm going to turn it over to Big John. All right, ladies, get on the bus. Come on. Take him. I spent anywhere from six to nine months every year for the last 22 years in a tour bus. What I've created is a tour bus challenge to see if these girls can really hang with me out on the road. challenge for today is kind of like going on the road traveling from city to city so there's a little setup in the parking lot so the tour bus drives to a city there's a challenge there ladies welcome to new york city in this hat i have each of your names what i'm going to do is choose a name randomly you will choose your opponent first contestant is jess jess who do you choose as your opponent legs <laughs> magdalena if I get you two to come with me, the rest of you ladies will see you in a bit. I picked Magdalena. I figured she's not the most athletic. I'll kick her ass. Ladies on the road, we need to hustle from city to city to get to the next show. Therefore, when a bus is ready to go, you need to be ready to go as well. Behind me, there's two suitcases, two piles of clothes. The first one to pack each item into the bag, fully zip it up, and get it back to the bus wins this challenge. I'm a little scared. I'm a little worried. But at the same time, the thing is so simple. You know, you just got to put the clothes in the bag, zip it up, and come back to the bus. On my mark. Ready? Set, go. Oh my god. <laughs> Magdalene and I are neck and neck. You know, we're kind of at the same spot, and then my red sweater gets stuck in the zipper. Oh shit! Ah! <laughs> Fucking A. We have a winner. Magdalena, you are the winner of this challenge. <laughs> Ooh, cool. You want to hop up back up on the yes, bus? Yes, I do. We're going to go to the next city. All right, Jess, the tour's over for you. Have a seat. See you later, Jess. I'm pissed. <laughs> Bad I lost. I would have been fine if I lost, like, on the last one, not the first one. Such a sucks. <laughs> oh, where are we pulling up to now? Ladies, welcome to Philadelphia. Same rules apply. For this challenge, it will be Magdalena. What? <laughs> Why me? Right after I won the first challenge, I'm all happy. And all of a sudden, Big John pulls out my name. And I'm like, wow, what a surprise. Who do you choose as your opponent? Sam. What? Sam it yes. is. Magdalena. So Magdalena picks me to compete with her. Maybe she thinks she could beat me. I don't think so. On the road, we don't always have five-star accommodations, but Brett's lady always has to look smoking hot. What we have behind me are two rock changing rooms, otherwise known as portable way stations. The objective here is to enter, switch out of the clothes you're wearing, and put on the clothes provided in the bags. One for you, one for you. <gasps> uh -uh. No! no! Really? Yeah, well, basically, we're changing into a uh, whore clothes. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Make sure that all clothing items are buckled, tied, and then your shoes are wrapped around twice and tied in the back. Ready? Go. Whoa! Oh, that fucking hurt. 
fucking porta potty smelled fucking gross. Like dirty diapers. Ooh. Oh my god, it's so gross. Yuck! It's bad enough that Magdalena and I are changing in a porta potty. We're also changing into this crotchless lace onesie. High heel shoes, a corset, and a mini skirt that is actually like a belt. All right, Magdalena, the only thing wrong, you need to tie your shoes behind your ankles. Behind my ankles? All right, let me see, let me see. We have a winner. Sam is the winner of this challenge. Magdalena thought she could beat me. She was wrong, because I remembered to tie my shoes the right way, and Magdalena didn't. Oh, Magdalena's got his in Philadelphia in that outfit. All right, Lorena, your tour ends here. <laughs> it just sucks. I'm not getting any time with him, any one-on-one -on -one time. I feel like we're never going to have the time to really get to know each other. Hello again, ladies. Hi. Welcome to Detroit. Our next contestant will be Lacey. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> Lacey, who do you choose? I choose Sam. <laughs> I chose Sam to be my competitor because she already just did a challenge and she'll probably be worn out. Brett's lost his favorite guitar pick. Oh. He loves that pick. The first person to climb in that dumpster and find the pick wins this competition. Ready, set, go. I thought I was gonna throw up before. Okay. I'm really gonna throw up now. But you know what? Fuck you, because I'm gonna find that pick. Of course, I had to wear my favorite boots today. I didn't expect the dumpster to be that disgusting. It was almost like fishing through soup. Oh, oh Lacey's just digging. Ew. Oh. That looks sick. Ew, what is that? The banana? Come on, where are you? Oh my god, I got it in my eye. <laughs> right now is I'm gonna find this pick, I'm gonna beat Lacey, and I'm gonna fucking win this date with Brett. Oh, Found it. Fucking Sam, you are the winner. Oh, now let's get the hell out of here, because you stink. Want to see my crotch? Can someone help me? Apparently, there's no limit to what I will do for my man. At least I have lunch for later. Oh, it's not hooking it up, it's playing. No, well, hooking up and playing. I'm really good at electronics, so I mean, I've hooked up like all my mom's surround sound and all that, so I really can't do that. Right. Welcome to Nashville, home of country music, and me. Our next contestant will be Heather. Who's your opponent? Okay, Mia. So I pick Mia because she seems a little bit weaker, and because I really want to kick her ass. Out on the road, Brett needs help setting up his gear sometimes. Behind me, there's two guitars, two sets of cables, an amp, and a tuner. The first one of you to properly set up this gear and make noise wins this competition and moves on to the next city. Go. My strategy was pretty much, you know, sign or nothing about it. Just make sure, you know, I had chords in each hole and keep switching them around until I got sound. It's really funny because I didn't know how to do this at all for shit, and I told her I was really good with electronics so that she would pick me up. <laughs> there was one challenge that I would have failed at, and that was setting up the amp and the guitar. So what I did is I told them that I was really good at electronics so that they wouldn't pick me. Hey, ladies, don't forget the first rule of being a roadie. Plug in your amps. I fucking thought so. The cord was right in front of our face, and we couldn't figure out why it wasn't working. Got it! Yes! Mia, you are the winner. Thank you. Go ahead. Heather, I'm sorry, but your tour ends here. We're moving on. I got my ass kicked. I've never set up a guitar before. Oh, 
This sucks. Welcome to Seattle, ladies. Mm. Looks like we're down to our last three finalists. Bibi. All right, I'm picking Mia. Bibi and Mia, if you'll follow me. All the girls at this point have gone on their challenges, and it was about time I got picked. All right, ladies, out on the road, sometimes Brett gets drunk and forgets the words to even his biggest songs. Behind me, we have the chorus to Every Rose Has Its Thorn. The first of you to correctly assemble the words that are mixed up behind me wins this challenge. Go. I totally know the chorus to Every Rose Has Its Thorn, so I'm thinking I got this. But once you get up there, there's like three it's, like five hisses. I mean, there's a lot of stuff you're looking at, so I'm just trying to put it together as quickly as I can. That is incorrect. Keep going, Mia. Done. Phoebe, you are the challenge. Yeah. And how could you not know the lyrics to Every Rose Has Its Thorn? She mixed it up and fucked the whole thing up. Hi, baby. <laughs> Mia? <sighs> Sorry, but your tour ends here. Thank you. I wanted that date really, really bad. I should have had it. I should have won. It's not like she's that strong of a competitor. She's not. Every road. Damn. Hello, ladies. Hi. It's been a long, exhausting trip. Welcome back to Los Angeles. Thanks. It's down to you two. You ready? Yes. Let's do it. I finally made it to the last challenge, and I did my best, and I knew these other girls weren't going to make it. Okay, ladies. Sometimes after a performance, Brett's surrounded by people, a lot of times in high-security areas. Therefore, the only way to get to him is through the crowd and over the velvet ropes. Your next challenge, you're going to hurdle these velvet ropes, push your way through security, and the first woman back to the bus wins this challenge. Let me get you some safety gear. I'm getting myself pumped up. I'm doing whatever I have to do to make it look like I could win because mine over matter. And I'm going to fucking beat Brandy and I'm going to get over there and I'm going to get that date. Sam is really vulnerable and she's too fragile. And this is a competition and I'm in it to win it. So Sam's fucked. I didn't think I'd make it to the finals, but it's pretty funny considering how I have no sneakers on and I'm in this little slutty outfit. All right, ladies, on your mark, get set, go! I was really pumped and excited. I kicked everybody's ass on the tour bus today. Up on the bus. <sighs> Brandy is definitely a diehard competitor. She really fucking wanted this date. She got it. Sam, I'm sorry, but your tour ends here. I'm looking out there, and I'm playing guitar, and I'm just wondering who's going to be up on that bus. Wild thing. <laughs> What's that going on? <laughs> Obviously you did. Let's get on this bus and rock. I gotta be honest, I was extremely happy to find out that it was Brandy M because I need to get to know her better. And so I got something very special planned for tomorrow. We are gonna go on an awesome date. You know what? I actually was cute earlier today. Until you right now is a different story. Yeah, until I rolled in garbage. I haven't been able to get any one-on-one -on -one time with Brett yet, and it's starting to make me nervous. I'm not winning these challenges, and I'm going to have to come up with a new plan. Okay, I have an idea. We have to gang up on Sam and get her out of here. She gets jealous easily. Really easily. Heather and I are in alliance together. I already have gotten Dallas out of the house, and next I think we're going to work on Sam. We should just say, like, we talked to Brandy, and, and Brandy was, like, telling us that she gave him head and, like, went down and stuff like, like that. It doesn't take much to get her Jealous. Sam is our next target. She's way too weak and fragile for Brett, and she's going to be an easy nut to crack. Operation Eliminate Sam is in a full effect. 
Ooh, la, la. <laughs> In walks Brandy with Brett. Can't believe she won. It was just luck of the draw. It's not like she really earned it. I'm going to go get ready for, for the night, night, for the party. I told him it is my birthday. I'm going down to the studio, finish up some stuff. I'd bring him back some music and some good times when I get back. I wonder how long it takes us to dry on paper. So tonight, for Brett's birthday, we girls got some fun things planned for him. We really want to celebrate it and make it awesome. <laughs> hey, I just might suck a dick tonight. <laughs> I'm gonna be gay with Brett the Rob. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> And the party just started right there. When I blew out those candles, I was thinking the Magnificent Seven are looking hot, and my wish was to have the most awesome, kick-ass time. Now, that's a birthday gift that just keeps on giving. In true Brett Michaels fashion, here's the way the party went. I grabbed my cheap boom box and mic'd it up with my PA mics, and the party rolled. I don't ever want to hang on the guy's neck just so he can pay attention to me. I'm not the kind of person. Suddenly, it was on. The girls are dancing. Everyone's up on the pole. Randy M's up there. Heather's up there. Lacey's up there. Jess is up there. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, it happened. I knew she was holding back that sexy thing. I knew inside of her was this creature, sexual desire, ready to explode. It's Brett's birthday, and we're playing Brett's music, and it's really, really good, and I'm feeling it. And I get up on that pole, and I shake my ass. So Sam was doing some hot, sexy moves, and I definitely noticed that caught Brett's attention. You're up there giving sex, girl. I think I'm gonna have to do something about this. Little Woo! 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 So we're having a great time at my birthday party, and I'm noticing that Sam absolutely cut and loose. was, you know, doing some hot, sexy moves, and I definitely noticed that caught Brett's attention. You're up there giving sex, girl. I think I'm gonna have to do something about this. Lacey and I, we want Sam out of the house, so we're gonna make her extremely jealous by showering him with affection. These girls are grinding on him and competing for his attention, and that's not me. I can't stand it anymore. Where'd Sam go? She was here somewhere a minute ago, and then she yeah, was gone. She All of a sudden, I notice in the middle of the party, I look around, there's no Sam. She's gone, nowhere to be seen. It's upsetting to see someone I care about have girls all over them when I want to be that girl. I just want to get out of here. Girl, working so, last night, we're all hanging out, having an awesome time for Brett's birthday. But then Sam freaks out, and then she just takes off, and I don't know why. I'm gonna flip out. You know that right, Get out of my fucking face. What's wrong? Sam comes in and starts flipping out, and it's because all the girls and Brett had such a good time partying last night, and she can't take it. Stop. Stop. She's losing it. Yeah. She comes in, and she was like, I just want to tell people, get the fuck out of my face, get the fuck out of my face. And she was, like, getting angry. Mm -hmm. Like, I think it's pretty important for Brett to know that Sam is freaking out. So I took it upon myself to go talk to Brett. Brett is shy. What kind of balls like the guy's probably sleeping, hung over, and she's like knocking on the door. If he's locked in his room, that means he doesn't fucking want to see you. How about it? And they're like fucking hyenas. They could have given some space. They're all over him. Sam and I are talking about Brad and all the freaking hyenas that are always around him. I feel like it's a little bit disrespectful. Who is it? Lacey. Come on in. Here, sit down. Talk to me. In the oh, good deal. Um, I was just trying to get a little worried about Sam. She kind of had a freak out this morning. She she's like freaking she's, out. She's not keeping it together. Is she freaking out because she's really jealous? Yeah. Like, if you're out on tour and 
there's a bunch of girls on the bus. She's not going to be able to handle it. It's going to go real bad, real not, fast. You need somebody that, that understands that lifestyle. I really, really appreciated everything Lacey told me, and I'm starting to feel that maybe Sam is way, way too sensitive for this lifestyle. Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. I'm going to go find her. Okay. I just had a really, really great conversation with Brad. I, just, like, I think that Sam, Sam is starting to fall apart. He's like, no, I can definitely see that, and I don't think she's going to last tonight. Okay. So. Heather and I are feeling really good. We've set our plan in motion to get Sam out of here, and I'm quite confident that she is going to be going home tonight. After she's gone, the Magdalene will be the only one in that room. Right. And we'll get her out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we are knocking them out like flies, girl. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. What you doing, girl? Folding. Are you folding? Yeah. You're not going, are you? No. Sometimes I just need to pull away, and it doesn't mean that I'm mad, just that I need some time alone. Did you have fun last night? Yeah, I did. You really came out. I go, I go, that girl's got pole skills. Because <laughs> I always believed that that side of you was in there to have that kind of fun. It's just sometimes I feel close, and then all of a sudden the brakes come on, and I'm like... I'm a private person. Right. And in the house where all these girls are competing for you, I don't know who to trust. But the only person you need to get close to is me. How am I supposed to get close to you when girls are grinding up on you? In order to make any relationship work, there's got to be some level of trust. And I think Sam is harboring some severe mistrust issues. I was in an abusive relationship. So see, tell me this. This is what I want to know. When I was 21, um, I was with this guy, and he was a drug addict. And he would always talk down to me and slam me into walls and call me a slut. And he would be cheating on me every single night with a different girl. And I lost it. No, I take Prozac. And um, I'll never put myself in that position again. I wanted love so bad. And like, I mistook something else for what, you know, I thought love was. I'm still feeling pretty unsure about Sam. She's one of the most intense people I've ever met. But there's something about her. Maybe, just maybe, I'm going to have to let her go. Just for her own sanity. What's up, ladies? Hey. How you doing today? I have a note here from Brett. Um, Phoebe, have fun. The rest of y'all see you around the house. All right. Thank you. I hope you like shouting, beers, and flying pucks. Because, BB, tonight we are partying with the Anaheim Ducks. I love hockey. I'm the perfect one to go on this date with Brett. Nothing like beer and men with sticks. Bring it. And later on this evening, someone will end their tour. It's elimination night, and I'm sending home one more. Well, I have to get ready. I'm a hockey game. This sucks. I really wanted that date. Let's go see a game. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I wanted to make this date absolutely special. I'd arrange for us to have dinner in the VIP suite. Oh, this is hot. I thought at this point I could really get into Brandy's head a little bit and find out more about her. You have probably two of the most beautiful eyes I've ever looked at. Mm, you do, though. A lot of guys are intimidated by me because I'm so bold and straightforward. They don't think they can handle me. I need a man. I need someone who's confident, who knows who he is and, and right. himself and be happy with himself in order to be with me. Brandy M, she was a wild thing. I didn't know if I could rope this one in. Do you have more guy friends or girlfriends? More guy. And girlfriends that I do have are lesbians. This is the one thing I would worry about. I'm not going to turn gay. No, no. I can't, I can't see myself marrying a woman. I'll have sex with one, though. Don't get me wrong. But then I'll kick her out afterwards. Yeah. Wow, well, cheers. Cheers. So another good date. Yes. Guys, I just found a note from Brett. It says, ladies, looks like my date will run late tonight. Chances are I won't be able to spend any more time with you before this evening's elimination, so I'm looking for some help. I need you all to work together to create a list stating the biggest reason why each one of you should go home. And we're all like, what the hell? It's a little bit, it's a little awkward. Most of the girls are dreading this task, but as for me, this is just going to give me one more opportunity to rattle all these girls. So I start with Sam. I would say um, jealous slash insecure. Lacey is a nasty, mean, dumb, fucking cunt bitch. I don't feel fucking comfortable with doing this shit. I don't either, but you know, it sucks. This is so awkward, and it's definitely going to start a fight. I'm Heather's not. I would say I don't think I've seen who you truly are. 
That's so weird because like I, I, this is totally me like every day. But but that's fine. You're entitled to your opinion. Bye. All right, Mia's out. I haven't personally seen that you really seem interested in him romantically. Lacey is a complete crazy, psychotic, cold-hearted bitch. I'll just say this. I'll just because you don't see it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. I understand. Okay. Brandy. Brandy's up. Um, I want you to write, uh, do you really want a girlfriend who's known for blowjob? Who has a nickname of blowjob yeah. and her first name. Back home, my nickname's blowjob Grant. Oh. That's just I like terrific. <laughs> I personally just think Brandy M is just a groupie. She's definitely not here because her heart is with Brett. Jess, you're up. The same thing, age and location. I really have nothing bad to say about her, so. Yeah. Is that really the only thing that's the only, like if she lived here in Los Angeles, would you have anything to say? You said what you want to say, I said what I want to say, and that's it. The only things that they can come up with is to say it about me and his age and location. I almost take it as a compliment. Next up, legs. Fucking bring it. You keep your feelings really deep inside. I don't see that you have two feelings for him, and I think that you're here just to be on TV. Lacey's just a fucking dirty, sneaky whore. She looks like a man. She looks like she's possessed by devils. She's just a freak. Mm -hmm. So then it's Lacey's turn. I don't feel that you're sincere. That I'm sincere about how I feel about him? Just how you feel about anything. Wow. I would say not sincere and can't control anger. But not sincere about what? That's what I don't understand. Like, that's so vague. Just in general. When I talk to you, I see it through you. I think that's a little unfair. I'm being strategic. But that doesn't mean that I'm this cold, hollow person on the inside. You guys are not my friends. I'm not here to make friends with you and be... If we're not your friends, then why do you care what we think? Because I think it's because you guys are telling Brett something wrong about me. Lacey, she's manipulative, she's vindictive, and I'm about to kill her. I Let's just get this shit friends. done. It's done, yeah. it's over with. I'm not. I'm sick of fucking bickering with people, seriously. All these girls are definitely full of shit. Whatever's on this paper, he's gonna read, and I don't have control over it. You don't have control over what's said under I yours know, either. I'm just letting All right, you know. well, slide it under the door, and that's gonna be the end of this. These girls can't take me down. That's a no-brainer. <laughs> nice try, girls. But I'm gonna get back up, and when I do, you better watch your back. me the VIP treatment on my date and I have never had that and it was so amazing and special to me. <laughs> Brandy's kind of a tomboy, you know. She's one of those girls that could change your tire and at the same time you want to have sex with her. That's a win-win. So in the middle of her day, Brett gets asked to be on the big jumble screen to get the crowd going. Right on that screen, I felt like a celebrity. We looked good together. You have a good time? That's an awesome time. And I'm glad it was you coming here because this is, I know you would appreciate it. It would be the wrong date for some others. I gotta admit, my date with Brandy M was pretty cool. Ranked right up there with some of the best dates I've ever had. Nice. Look at you. We were on box seats for a nice doing? dinner, and oh. we were on the screen. They played a song, and oh, that's awesome. yeah. All right, I gotta run in the room. I at least gotta just shower or something, and I got some serious decisions to make. Man, yeah. don't even want to think about it. I gotta be straight with you. I am getting pretty nervous right now because it's coming down to the elimination. It's the Magnificent Seven, so this is gonna be extremely tough for me to eliminate one of these girls. So what happened today? We had a letter from Brett saying that we have to do to help him make this decision is write down everybody in the house and write down why we think they're not good for Brett. Jess tells me about the questionnaire that they had to fill out. Why am I not good for Brett? Well, your your body sounds. <laughs> That's the only thing I could think of. <laughs> and you've even said that, though, too. They said that the only bad thing they could talk about was my burping and my farting. So I decided to confront Lacey and Heather and ask them what they had wrote about me. As soon as your name came up, Mia, Jess, and Maggie and I thought, like, she's a groupie, she just wants to suck his dick, she's a slut, she's this, she's this, she's that. I just, they said, it's funny, because I just confronted them and asked them, and all they said is they only wrote that I burped. I think it's all bullshit, and I don't trust Lacey. Watch your back with those girls, because, you know, they're willing at this point to throw anybody under the bus. You know, the more I can stir these girls up and start pitting them against each other, the better it is for me, and the better it is for Brett. I'm starting to get sick of all this fucking girl fucking shit. So they just turned it around and tried to turn it on you guys. She's lying. Once again, Lacey's lying. She said that it was was mainly you. What? 
Lacey's totally possessed. I just, I can't even deal with her anymore. And she goes, this is what I want you to put. She goes, put down, does he really want a girlfriend who's known, blow jobs, known for blowjobs? Blow 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 everything. I fucking God. On the Bible, on my what fucking do I have grandma's grave. I don't know. I know. I believe you. I believe you guys. I know. After finding out everything that they said about me, I wanted to fucking shove the hockey stick up Heather and Lacey's ass combined. That's the only reason why this whole thing started was because she knew how bad she fucking looked on a piece of paper. Lacey just sucks at life. She has no heart, no soul. She sucks. I really hope that Brett sees Lacey's true colors and picks the right person. I hate her. I knew with eliminations coming up, I need to speak with a couple of the other girls before someone goes home tonight. Magdalene, come up, come up. Here's my thing. You're the most even keeled, and sometimes I might take that is not cold, but not really emotionally invested in me. I'm not gonna be like all over you because I know that if it was meant to be, it's gonna happen. Right. And that's basically the bottom line. I'm feeling distant. I'm not feeling like as though the burning love is there for me, and so it's tough for me to give back burning love. Well, maybe I'm just not the person that, you know, shows all the emotions in public. I think that's more um, something that, you know, you should keep it's done it in private. More at home, in private, right. yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm really trying here. I'm trying to get to know this girl, and I can't quite put my finger on it. I just had trouble connecting with her. We're all here for one purpose, and like I said, if you don't pick me, you pick somebody else, I just want you to be happy. And I still see my chance, and I still know that maybe he'll find out that I'm a great girl. All right, I'll see you in a little bit. Thank you. You're very welcome. What's wrong, baby? Really, I need to talk to you. One of the things about Sam, she's very, very vulnerable and very sensitive. Well, the truth is that, okay, yeah, I'm too sensitive to be here. And I can't take it. So what do you want me to do? I really, really like Sam a lot, but she's kind of bipolar. And this is hardcore right now. Do you want to leave? No, I like you so much, but I'm sorry. I, my heart is so big, and I have so much to offer. And I don't want to fall in love in front of fucking millions of people and get hurt. Come here, just, <laughs> just hold me for a second. Don't laugh. Just hold me. You're freaking me out right now. I was watching her cry and break down, and it was tough for me to take all that in. And I knew I had a really, really tough decision to make. I'm not really nervous. I see the way, you know, look at each other, and I know that there's a connection. It's getting pretty fucking tense in this house. I feel like I made some connection with him, but I couldn't open up as much as I would like, so I'm really nervous about going home. In a letter, the girl said that I was insincere. Quite frankly, I'm nervous about elimination tonight. While I was out on a date with Brandy M, I wanted all the girls in the house to do a little activity for me. I wanted them to write down reasons why each girl should be eliminated. When I got the letter and read through it, there was a couple things in there that really concerned me. They very much believed that Lacey was insincere and really didn't show her true self. Now I'm starting to realize that maybe she's the cause of all the drama that's going on in that house. I knew I had a really, really tough decision to make. I knew that this was not going to be easy. I'm a little nervous about tonight's elimination. I don't think I'm going home, but I don't know. Earlier, I told Brett I wanted to go home. I'm falling hard, I'm torn, and this is gonna be really tough. You know what, I am nervous, but at the same time, I think all of us um, have that fear that we might go home. I really think that Sam's gonna be going home. She's just been so overly emotional, and I can't imagine that Brett would want somebody like that in his life. Hello, everybody. How are we doing? Good. Awesome. Thank you for making my birthday last night really, really special. It really meant a lot to me. Unfortunately, we've got seven beautiful girls, and we've got six VIP passes, and I'm going to get right down to it, okay? This girl right here, I find more and more growing on me. I understand she has some very special sexual qualities. For beer and hot dogs, come on down here, Brandy. She's just here because she wants to say she fucked a rock star, or at least gave him a blowjob. Hence the name Blowjob Randy. Would you stay here and continue yes. to rock my world? Yes.
This next girl, I know there's a lot of mixed emotions about her, but it all comes down to how I feel, and I feel that this girl is my friend. Heather, would you come down here, please? It's the truth. I'm the best choice for him. We're like one and the same. We stay here and rock my world. Love to. Thanks. This girl really stepped up and showed me emotion, and I, I need that. I feed off it. I'm a musician. Jess, would you come down here, please? I really, really don't think that Jess is right for Brett. She's way too young. She's way too immature, and, you know, she's a prude. Would you stay here <laughs> and continue to rock my world? After eating my past, I finally realized that I'm ready to let my guard down and move forward with it. I really want to be with him, so I'm just going to try that much harder. This next girl, I still need a little more time with. I feel there's something there. I also feel there's a little bit of barricade. Mia, would you come down here, please? Would you stay in his house and continue to rock my world? Yes. Awesome. That's what I wanted to hear. <laughs> This girl and me have made an instant connection in this house. This person also is incapable of holding back emotion, which causes some great things and some horrific things. Lacey, could you come down here, please? Lacey is such a evil devil. Why did she get her pass? Hello, Kankles. Hey, <laughs> Kankles McGee. Would you, would you stay in this house and continue to rock my world? I would love to. Awesome. Brett gives me my pass, and I'm really happy, and I'm feeling victorious. These girls are trying to take me out, and it's not working, and Brett is seeing me for who I truly am. It's down to Magdalena and I. I think that my heart, like, stops beating, because I'm so, like, I just don't really know what to think, and, but uh, it's just really fucked up. I cannot explain to you right now, in my heart, how hard it is pounding. Sam, I know it is really hard, really hard for you to be here. We've talked about this a lot. And for me, I almost sometimes have to make these decisions, not only for what I'm thinking, but possibly for what you're thinking as well. Magdalene, will you come down here, please? And I was like, oh, shit. This right now is probably my worst nightmare. I think Brett is going to be sending me home tonight. I just want to tell you that I, I, I will miss you. And unfortunately, the Torrens here. All right? That's fine. Can you give me a hug? Sure. Thank you. You know, in the end, I eliminated Magdalena, and it was very simple. My life is about passion. It's about excitement. And with Magdalena and myself, I just don't believe that it was there. As Magdalena leaves, I'm crushed, but I'm also excited. You know, when it comes down to it, I want to stay. I want to stay for Brad. If you don't like me, if you don't feel the connection with me, you shouldn't waste my time. And I appreciate it. He's not wasting my time anymore because I have more important things to do now that I have to follow my heart. Sam, come down here. so that I don't go crazy and you don't go crazy-er. <laughs> Let's try to make it work and we'll take it day by day, all right? We continue to stay here and rock my world. Mm -hmm. Cha-ching. All right. And I'm just like, yes. <laughs> yeah. I just want to say while you're all standing up there that it's just going to get more difficult for me and Let's, uh, let's just really dive into each other. I need to find out if somewhere, somewhere in this house, two of us can make a connection enough to fall in love. All right? That's it. Come on down. Here's to the sexy six and continue to rock the house. I was convinced that Sam was going home tonight, but you know what? It doesn't matter. She still has a target on her back, and I'm going to get her out. I'm going to get all the rest of them out the same way.